G'day everyone, Joe Ruler again, and welcome back to some more Minecraft here on the Plankcraft server. And yes, I am surrounded by villagers, and no, I'm not wearing any pants, and yes, I do have an elytra. All that's addressed, all that's out the way. Right, so I'm not trading with any of these guys right now. They're just surrounding me because they all want a piece of the Rilla. I will take that though. Oh, I need two more... Sorry, four more, and I can get two mending books. I'm here for a reason. Rex has a guy. Rex has a guy that will do mending for 22 emeralds. Yes, please, mate. Right. I think Mattis has got one that has looting for less than 18, so I might go get that on my sword. Because that could be fun. But anyway, I need to get mending on this thing, because Bruce and I went to the end in the live stream that I recently did, and if you haven't seen that yet, do go and watch it, because it's a good laugh. It's a, it's a, it's a real hoot. Uh, a lot of fun we had there, actually, so um, yeah, well worth it. Thanks, Bruce. And oh boy, it's, it's night time. Oh shit, a brick. He's more interested in the villagers than me. But I think he still deserves a good smoking. I don't want to go getting uh God a lag, my god. I don't want to get getting too um fancy because I got bugger all armor. Oh shit. No, we're gone. We're out of here. Oh Jesus Christ, Rex, light your place up, mate. What the hell? Ah, uh, yeah, me and Elytra don't seem to get along. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I swear there was a point to this discussion. Something to do with going to the end live. There we go. Alright, we're up in the air now. Sorry, I just had to have a cut in the recording there because, yeah, I just lost my train of thought completely and the recording was, uh, even by my standards, unusable. So, um,. What is this building? That's new. I'll have to check that out later. What's that? I should... Oh, that's that's what they were talking about on the, um... On Discord. The 0711. And I made the joke of $3 coffees, because that's the only reason I go to 7-Eleven. That's funny as. <laughs> 00711, that's cool. Anyways, we're going to head off over to the gold farm, because I need to actually repair these things, because, uh, hmm, yes, right, hmm, not doing too good. I need some unbreaking. I need to find that. I don't know where to find it. Uh, there is a portal around here somewhere that I need. It's over here somewhere. Here we go. Um, yeah, my Elytra abilities are laughable at best, but um, the plan of action for today is to actually start the base. Yep, actually going to start it. First off, I need to I need to go to the gold farm anyway, but the other thing that's in that general direction is, here it is, <coughs> is a desert. Now, I need an absolute shitload of sand. Uh, and some gravel too, but, uh, oh boy. It's Lagosaurus Rex. Now... Where is the... We have to go down here, don't we? Oh, wow, the frames. Just think of the frame rates. What did they ever do to you? I think this is the right place. My sense of direction is terrible. Everybody knows that. But, so yeah, I need to head into the, this alleged desert to get myself... Probably at least three quarters of a shulker box full of sand. And yes, I did just say shulker box because... Oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> there may or may not be a business idea in that, but uh, we'll see. I could just be a hog and uh, keep them all for myself. Or I may try and profit off them. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. All I, need to, all I know is I need to fix my wings. Uh, and figure out where the... Oh, get over my... Here we go. This is this is kind of haphazard. This so you got to go in there and then you got to shift out. Is that it? That's it. There we go. Oof. 
Love you. Take note of how smooth the world is loading in at the moment. There's no lag. Everything looks nice. I can zoom in. Yes, that's right, my friends. Optifine has regraced us with its presence. So, it's only 90% complete. you got to click a couple of extra buttons. What the hell? Random chests in the air there. Oh, this is new. There's a lot of new shit going on. I'm guessing this is Envy's. It's his usual modern style. Which, believe it or not, is actually my usual build style as well. But, uh... I, um... I'm, I'm trying to challenge myself with the uh, other things that I'm doing. I have actually sort of laid out a little bit of a pattern for the base. I, uh haven't really started yet but uh, I've been just tr uh, just preparing the materials is probably the, the best way to put it I uh, need a few different materials the design that I'm going with is a uh, has changed a little bit here and there so I mean I never really told you what the original design was so how would you know but uh, oh man this is so much better I just wanted to show you what uh, the power of Optifine I'm, we're still on the um, the craft bucket server, uh, which, well, for now, we're probably going to keep it like that. Um, we might get back to vanilla, because not er uh, some of the other boys are having a bit of a bit of uh, drama with Optifine, apparently. But uh, I'm not, so, uh, yeah, I get to enjoy a lag-free experience. Loving it. So this is my little patch. Oop, I'm coming a bit too fast there. Oh, boy. I don't know that buzzing noise is. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it sounds very buzzy, buzzy. I probably didn't need that rock hurt and smack. Okay. So this is the... This is literally just marking out the size. And that's it. Haven't really done a hell of a lot else. Um, but I'll probably tell you at this point what I'm going for. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Let me just eat this chicken. Optifine hasn't fixed that problem. You may notice that some of these... Th na oh, uh, 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 oh, Let's try that again. <laughs> some of the uh, things that I've named these items... They're very sort of... Well, that one isn't. Neither is that. But they, they refer to specific things. They're either um, titles or lines in or of songs. Uh, specifically songs by Wu-Tang Clan, who are one of my favourite artists. Because I, as you, if you, anyone who knows me knows that I'm a big fan of rap music, but uh, that's that's beside the point. Now, with Wu-Tang, now having watched a lot of their sort of interviews and stuff like that, <coughs> the RZA, the front man, the, the brains behind the Wu-Tang Clan, draws a lot of his inspiration from old Chinese and just Asian uh, martial arts movies in general. And so I thought I would run with that as a bit of a theme because the style I'm going for, I'm going to be building a large pagoda. Uh, Japanese style probably, more than anything, because out of all the Asian countries, Japan is by far the best. And I challenge you to prove me wrong with that. Unless you're talking GDP, then, well, whatever. Anyway, we're not going to bring uh, world economics into it right now. So, I'm going to be going for sort of a Japanese style. Now, I've been looking at a tutorial by Green as to how to build this. Now, I'm probably going to stick to it fairly semi-loosely. I will probably take a bit of artistic license here and there. Obviously, I'm not going to copy his design block for block, but I'm definitely going to use it as a base template. If you're wondering why I haven't started building yet, I'm waiting for some smooth stone, to, uh, some stone to smelt, because I need to turn a lot of... Where the hell did I leave it? A good two-thirds of that needs to be turned into stone, because I can't seem to find any that uh, is clearly a community communal area. I can't seem to find any in anywhere that seems obviously communal. That's the sentence I was trying to spit out through a silent burp. The That's what I need for the base view layer. You'll see what I mean when I get sort of the, the starting structure in place. And once it's in place, I'm sort of going to maybe terraform this so that it sort of gets... 
engulfed is probably the wrong word, but the, the landscape is going to go around it, so it's not just going to be a flat thing. I'm definitely going to have to do a lot of terraforming and uh, mucking around. But another reason I've gone with this particular design is because it's got a fairly loose interior, which means there is a lot of room for devious contraptions and funny things and over-the-top farms. I do have a couple in mind for actually fairly soon. Uh, I do have some things in mind. Uh, some of them artistic, some of them borderline autistic in their efficiency and over-the-topness, but, uh, you know, one thing at a time. So I'm going to stop nattering because that's all I've been doing for the past few minutes because literally, as I say, I want to show you Optifine and... I can probably get started actually. I'm going to get at least the base few layers done uh, just so you can sort of see the scale I'm going for. And then I'll come back to you with a bit of. well, with something. <laughs> I haven't thought that far ahead yet, but um, yeah, I'll catch up with you real soon. Alright, so this thing has almost already dwarfed my season one base. Um, and I know this probably does, this probably looks more like a factory than a Japanese pagoda at the moment, but this is, uh, I'll see if I can find a picture of it online and I'll put it up on the screen. Um, the green design sort of mimics this. I may even put a picture of that up there. Um, but it's one of the bigger, uh, pagodas. They, they almost refer to them as Japanese castles. Um, and I think there's one in Osaka, and I've actually been there, uh, believe it or not, and it is an absolutely crazy sight to witness. Um, so the actual pagoda -y bit, so the, you know, the classic upward shaping roof peaks that, uh, you know, define a pagoda, start at this level here. So all of this down below is literally just a base. Uh, the bottom row here, I would call almost done with its detail. There, there is more to go on it, but as far as the wall texture is concerned, I need to basically mimic that on the next two levels as well. It's, not, it's a bit tedious, but it's not a massive deal. Um, I don't need all this now. I think I can <laughs> it needs more cobblestone. I'll save it for later. Um, but that's where I'm at now, and I'll probably just do this detailing and then probably wrap it up there and probably just go through one last thing so my plan is for each of these levels so if you see where there's a change in the vertical alignment of the building each each time that happens with the exception of this one because i want this to be a nice sort of grand entrance the dirt will be gone obviously so the ceiling for this floor will probably be around this row here that you can see where my crosshairs are so this will be sort of double height <laughs> I won't go too far into what my plans are for it, but let's just say it's going to be beautiful. At least that's what I want it to be. And there will also be redstone involved. Now, I do plan on hollowing out an absolutely absurd amount of land underneath this thing as well, because I have some grand plans for underneath it, um, because I need stuff. And I've sort of decided, after I did the Titan, that... I want to go pretty silly this season. Like, I, I want just over-the-top excessive utilities like, you know, farms and, you know, maybe not a storage system, but, you know, stuff like that. Just crazy over-the-top and just excessive. That's what, that's what I want to go for this season. It may not happen with everything, but, you know, one of the things will be eventually to fix up the Iron Titan to make it a proper functioning 64 village variety that works properly. Um, but we're also going with this base. Now, I will say that's probably about one third of the height that is going to be. I could be slightly off with that guesstimate, but there's probably, I think there's about four roof peak levels that go up. There might only be three, but it's, it's, it's massive. There will be plenty of room in this for everything that I want. Um, that is my plan with it. I think I've covered pretty much everything. I think now what I'm going to do is just detail these. 
uh, two rows of stone wall, and then we'll come back see what it looks like, and that'll probably wind up the episode. Okay, so I've done the detail on all three of these ins uh, levels, we'll call them. And I think it's turned out not too bad. Oh, I've missed... A, oh, we can't have that. I've missed one. I didn't take a step back. I just jumped straight into it. Because that's how I roll. Anyway, that'll do. We'll do a quick lap on the ground and then we'll see if we can get in the air and see what it looks like from up there. Because I reckon it'll look pretty good as part of a flyby. Bloody here, next door neighbor's dog barking. Bloody thing. Worse than my yappy... Well... My Mrs. Yappy Dog. Yeah, well, I left this little staircase here for a reason. Go in here. Looks pretty cool in here, except you're not going to be able to see any of this. That's me playing anyway. Let's jump up here. Let's see how badly I can do this. Oh. Could be worse. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. I like the way that looks. Yeah, I like the way that's coming along. I am not unhappy with that at all. <laughs> hey, llamas. Oh, let's fly through. Oh, that wasn't... A, that could have been a lot worse. That would have been George of the Jungle style. Watch out for the tree. Or in this case, the, uh, the log. <clears throat> Anyways, that is going to be all from me. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, l let us know what you thought, leave us your feedback, a, uh, a thumbs up is always a very, no oh, where, where did I go, oh, uh, oh, oh dear, anyways, <laughs> hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode, and uh, hit that big old red triangle, if you really enjoyed it, and this, this, this is dangerous, I shouldn't be doing this, anyways, have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. See you later. We can hide our faces from life when we run.